We are finally in North Dakota again for another year. Opener, baby. It's back. Oh, here we are. It is finally opening day here in North Dakota. First full velvet white tail. We're heading further west. Oh my god, dude. We just killed a freaking dandy soon. Down. Drive through the night, get back to Dinkota. We got a big cold front coming through. We don't want to miss it. o'clock in the morning. We're a couple miles from Dakota right now. We are going to get Mike's buck in the cooler and then we're going to get some sleep. Tomorrow's going to be an office day. We got some work to get done. We got a really good uh, cold front coming through Friday into Saturday. So we're anticipating a couple really good sits. Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, but I think Friday and Saturday for sure are going to be good. Big front coming in North Dakota on Saturday. Talked to JP, he was down to come meet me, and we're gonna head out to North Dakota tonight. Mike and Brennan were in Western North Dakota all week hunting muleys. They tagged out last night. They will also be at Camp Dakota this weekend. So, uh, should be a fun weekend. Hello! We're gonna spin in on the Rambo and check some camera cards here this morning on the potential spots we can hunt tonight. We got one spot, well where Dylan sat last weekend we called a slip that the wind's not good for tonight so we're not even gonna bother going in there and check that card because we're just gonna sit it tomorrow night. So, rip in on the Rambo, pull some cards. We got three spots in mind that I think are gonna be good options tonight. We just wanna make sure we're in the right ones and. Open there. Saturday, September 7th, the day we're still in North Dakota. It's gonna 
be our last sit for the early season. After this sit, Aaron and Mike are heading home, me and Dylan are heading to Nebraska. Bri won't return to North Dakota until late season. We got a huge cold front that came through last night, about 15 or 20 degree drop in temperature. I think all of us are wearing every piece of clothing that we got tonight. We weren't really expecting these types of temperatures in September, but we're not complaining about it. These deer should move. Aaron and I are sitting in the same tree we sat last night. We're hoping Bong or Traveler make a mistake tonight. Dylan's sitting about a half hour to the west of us, hunting a couple good bucks also. This change in weather, it feels good to be in a tree, and it feels like tonight could be the night. The cold front has hit. We're in a spot that we call the slip. We uh, don't have any intel here from this past week while we were gone. We pulled the camera here today and uh, haven't even checked it yet. So pretty much going in blind on this sit, but we had some good bucks using this, this area. So without any pressure here for the last week, hopefully they've been in here comfy and uh, they're still hanging around. So we're gonna sit tight and see if we can uh, make something happen here tonight before we head off to Nebraska tomorrow. That's my first buck since 2015. Hey, you read the script just perfect. Right through the slip, dude. Oh, yes. Tagged out, baby. Brennan and 
JP are probably six or eight miles east of us right now hunting and uh, we decided we're not gonna tell them that we killed this deer. So we're gonna get him in the truck. We're not even gonna say a word, we're just gonna pull up. We gotta pick those guys up, we dropped them off. So when they go to throw their packs in the back of the truck, there's gonna be dead deer in there. <laughs> oh, let's go get a look at this thing before dark, dude. Oh, flat top 10. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. That's my biggest bow buck. First one I've shot in about four years. Been running the camera so much. Felt good to actually get to pound one with Mike behind the camera. Beautiful deer. Hell yeah, deer. That a boy. Perfect. Just go load mine up and get out of here. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Dude. Doubled up. We were gonna go all the way back to camp and not tell you guys. <laughs> I but. shot off. <gasps> Which one? What deer? That big brow eight pointer. He walks out on the edge at like 10 yards from the base of the tree. We let him get there and I'm like looking at him I'm like, if he gives me a good chance, I'm gonna dust him. And he walked out and the beans are like, <laughs> hammer time. <laughs> Follow this buck, he bled really well for probably the first 100 to 150 yards. And then he got through the first marsh and he came up across the bean field. A little harder to follow the blood through the beans. He got across the field, which is probably an additional 100 yards. And he kind of got to this buffer on the edge of this marsh. I'm really surprised he's gone this far, to be honest. I don't know. I really don't know what to think. He bled good for probably the first 100 to 150 yards. And then he kind of got in some, uh, he crossed a bean field, crossed some grass stuff that was pretty hard to blood trail in. And we ended up just sticking the air on the ground. We're gonna go back in the morning. We didn't have the best of lights tonight. They were all starting to die. Beyond me how he's still on his feet. Hasn't even, hasn't bedded down one time. Fingers crossed, sleepless night. Hopefully we get this deer tomorrow because pretty sick over it. Thought I made a good shot and Still think I made a good shot. I'm just, I don't know. Try again in the morning, I guess. Sleepless night, but uh, we're gonna go back out. We marked the spot where we lost blood. Let's see if we can't pick him up here now that we got some light to see, so. He's laying right on the edge. Unbelievable. We stopped. We. Stuck the arrow in the ground probably 125 yards back here last night. Lights were getting dim. It's just tough looking. He got he got on the edge of this marsh and this grass is just terrible for picking up blood. We came in this morning and we kind of spread out. Aaron was up in the beans. Dylan was coming down the edge of the beans and I was just wrapping this marsh around. And there's a deer trail comes up around this corner and kind of tucks in the corner right here. Walked up there, there he lays. I mean, last night I was right here checking this tree line, but we got him. Coyotes didn't find him, that was, I, I was convinced he was dead, but I was sick to my stomach last night because the coyotes are terrible out here. And I was just worried sick they were gonna rip him up, but we got him, <laughs> ate those nights. Dylan shot a buck, great buck last night. Probably right about the same time I sent an arrow into this guy and uh, we tracked him for quite a ways. I'm gonna say somewhere around five, five, six hundred yards. And we lost blood and our lights were starting to burn out. So we just backed out and, and waited for light this morning. And uh, luckily we found him pretty quick this morning. He was laying I'm gonna say 150 yards from where we stopped last night. I was kind of just walking the edge of this marsh around and he was bedded five yards off the edge of it. Glad we got closure. I was pretty sick. I was really concerned about the coyotes out here. We've had to leave a few deer overnight out here before in the past and it usually doesn't end up like this. Awesome buck out here in North Dakota. This state has been nothing short of a blessing for us over the years. You don't want breakfast? I haven't wore face paint all year. I usually kill stuff when I have face paint on. 
Let's start putting some on. Got to fill in the patches. Wait for this gust to pass. Just a minute. 